In this episode, we will take a ride in Eric's Range Rover Classic, if we can get it started. We no, also go a look yeah, at the potential if, project if, car. If it was a, a real Series 2 or not. Yes, sitting in the RV. So if you don't know why I'm sitting on RV, check out the story up here, up here and uh, you will see why. But now, heading up to, uh, to Eric, gonna catch up with him. I haven't seen him in a long time and it's gonna be good to uh, to see him and also see his son and uh, hopefully we can get a look at the, the Range Rover Classic and see how that's going. I know he's doing some rims and uh, stuff but I'm not sure how how well he's running that, uh, that old uh, Classic. So uh, let's head up and uh, we will see. So uh, my father has just cleaned his uh, motor home so thoroughly and uh, yeah so I'm just gonna drive super slow on the on the gravel I wanted to mess it up on my way up to Eric's place I realized I haven't seen him in a long time so it's gonna be good to catch up over a cup of coffee hello <laughs> after a good chat we were ready to get going Space, and we are going to do a quick uh, walk around of the, the Range Rover and see uh, what's up with the Range Rover. For. Okay, Eric, it's running. <laughs> Third time this year. Third time this year. Yeah, and it's it's August. Yeah. Yeah. Have you been driven out driving it? Yes, like this. Yeah. Not too much. No. Not too much. Okay. Yes. <coughs> Have you done anything to the? You put you, you pulled some parts to fix your brothers. I pulled the coil, spark plug leads, and uh, I think that's about it. Yeah. But now it's back together. It's back together. So I got miss. I'm missing one, one uh, HD lead, but I got a different color <laughs> on the other one. <laughs> So it's not looking free, but it's working. Yeah, it's working. Good. Yeah, yeah. Anything else? No, not really. It's I got new springs in May. Yeah. So it's a it's a bit taller. So that was mo mostly to conquer the uh, when I have the roof rack on and the winch. Yeah. And lower in the back, it's not even anymore. I think it was five centimeters lower on the right side than on the driver's side. Yeah. So the suspension didn't handle anymore. Uh, so with this, these springs, it should be close to, hopefully close to standard when, uh, when it's loaded. Yeah. Now it's empty, so it's a bit taller. It looks really nice. It's yeah. a classic, it looks it's nice. <laughs> it looks nice. <laughs> I'll just enter the truck a bit. Yeah. Petrol as well. <laughs> Good. <laughs> yeah, so expensive. Yeah. Yes. Take it for a spin and then uh, talk a bit more. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So we are taking the, cl uh, the classic to go and look at a series.
something about the air. Boy. Okay, good to be out driving again. This feels good. <laughs> it reminds me of uh, AK Star. Yeah. Yeah. We really should do uh, another trip in the Range Rover. Yeah, we have uh, we have the time. Yeah. In uh, when, when we reach uh, autumn, I think. Yeah, the overland trip. Yeah. Yeah. I need to check. I need to check. So, and Arvidarn. And Arvidarn, yeah. yeah. So we will maybe meet up again in 14 days. Yeah, in Arvidarn, the off-road area only. And maybe later as well for our overland trip. But uh, we will see, we will see. But if you want us to do another uh, Range Rover classic uh, overlanding in Norway trip, be sure to, uh, to write in a comment down below. And we will make it happen. <laughs> oh, loving the V8. Are we lost? <laughs> Just a shortcut. Just a shortcut. You for the ride? Yeah. Oh. I love the classic. I think it runs pretty well. To, uh, what do you say? It uh, the carburetor isn't perfect. No. It, if you if you drive it yourself, you will feel it uh, not the best. Yeah. Okay. <gasps> Yeah? Should we have a look? We should have a look. Oh. <laughs> it's so cool. There's something special about the series as well. Yeah, and this one is... It has history. Yeah. You can see on the bodywork it has... has some history. So this is uh which model was it? I don't remember. It's fifty no sixty sixty nine. Yeah. Yeah. It's two eight. So it's just uh, after uh, so it's, it's a the last year before the they put the before they replaced the headlamps to the uh, wing. Yeah. So the series two don't have the uh, the indicator is not on the wing. It's they don't have indicators. They may probably have the up there I think. Uh, that's the series one. But not the series two. This the difference between series two and series two A is the indicators. That's the and the lamp, the headlamp. Yeah. Yeah. But series. T I think it's like this. There. That's series three. three. And two A. And two. Yeah, but the later two A got it in the. But series two don't have the in indicator. I think. Okay. Uh, yeah. It only has the. Uh, because I saw a picture of the Series 2 and it's only, uh, yeah, I tried to figure out that what's happened with the, the, the early 2 A's, the indicator moved out. Okay. Yeah. But uh, we will see who's... Nerd. Nerd. <laughs> yeah, I tried to figure out if, if it was a, a real Series 2 or not, or if it's a 2 A. It's and a it, 2 A. It's, this is a 2 A. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. So the Series 2 don't have the synchro gearbox, I think. The series. Okay, so this is synchronized in third and fourth. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. But yeah. I'm no expert. Okay. In the series. <laughs> yeah, so we're gonna have a look around, see, check everything, and then see if there's something we should consider getting. <laughs> a Land Rover Drive project. I buy, uh, I, I buy an uh, Eric fix. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> like it's always been. Like it's always been, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no.
Nordic uh, Nordic edition. I don't know. Mm. So that's that's cool. It's really cool. Okay, where to start? At the front. At the front. Let's have it. Okay, I love the old style, the narrow uh, off-road tires. 650, 16? Yeah. I got 7.0. 7.0, okay, yeah. yeah. That's missing. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah, for a bit. I used to have a quill on the minus whisker. Yeah. Okay, so... Uh, what's missing? Uh, the... Uh, a few things are missing. Yeah. You're missing the inlet manifold and the exhaust manifold on this side. Mm -hmm. And the carburetor should be here. Yeah. It's in the back. Uh, the battery should be here and the air cleaner should be there. Otherwise it's everything. And it turns over uh, the engine. Yeah. We cranked it over the with the starting handle, so it's not seized. But this rag has been in here, but it's it's a while since <laughs> <laughs> it's been there. <laughs> okay, so we, I need to take everything off and actually have to take the engine out, maybe. Uh, maybe not. I, don't know. I think he has been. Uh, uh, he has had lots of oil in it. Yeah. Like overfill it. With yeah. Oil. So it should be, the internal should be okay. Uh, the inlet's on the other side. No. Same side. Yeah. Should be. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah. Okay, so four in and four out yes. on the same side. Four in. <laughs> it's a small engine. But this is a 225. Yeah, two, yeah. And, two and a quarter inch. Two, yeah. two and a quarter. Petrol. Yeah. Distributor cap is here. Yeah. And the fuel pump is here, manual pump. And you're missing yeah, alternator is not here. Okay. But the positive thing is is the lack of rust. Yeah. Like foot wells. Yeah. Firewall. Yeah, we've seen. This is the main fuse panel, I think. Two fuses. Mm. And this is before plastic era. Yeah. C cables. Original cables. Yeah. So this has been yellow and blue and I light blue. I think it has blue. been grey originally. Yeah. This is. The, I think this is the original color inside. Yeah, yeah okay. or maybe galvanized or. Yeah. I think the interior interior is in the, the orange color. Okay, battery, air filter, housing. Mm. It's missing inlet. I think everything is in the back. Yes, in the back. Yeah. yeah. Missing some floors. Yeah. That's the color. That's the color. It's a nice color. Mm. Actually, better doors than on my uh, <laughs> defender, old defender. The same door seats, I think. But it's the original. This is not the original seat, maybe. Or it has been re. Looks they, the same. They they look the same. Mm. But I don't know why the one is black and the other two are grey. But this is cool. It's the original. Is there a light switch? I'm not sure what that Five is. Five beam? Or is it foot rest? You know the, the old cars had high beam on, on, on the, the left pedal? Okay. <laughs> then Air cleaner. Okay, so that's the inlet. That's the exhaust. Exhaust. Okay. New one. New one. And the carb carburetor is there. That one, yeah. There you go. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. New distributor mm. has been new. 
20 years ago. Mm -hmm. <laughs> And this is the inlet on the board. The black one there. Yeah. So in in theory everything everything is here to get it get it going. Yeah. If you can get it going. If I can get it going. <laughs> <laughs> You're the mechanic. Yeah. Well <laughs> like, it's not too bad considering rust. No, uh, that's what I, the next thing I wanted to check out is the, the underneath and the... Yeah. Okay, underneath. Okay, so we are done looking at the series and it's a great series. It's a really good series. Yeah. For the... Yeah, it's a good condition car. Yeah. Yeah. Really. So... Uh, Need to think about this. Think about thinking. Think about thinking. So uh, it's uh, a bit of work to get it going, uh, uh, but everything is there, so it's just about it's just the work. And also the brakes, clutch. Yeah. Yeah. Carburetor, distributor. Carburetor, distributor. Manifolds. Yeah. Manifolds. <laughs> yeah. We have missing. Now, classic. Oh. Looks so good. It's really magical seeing the Range Rover Classic in the landscapes that we're driving through and I can't help myself thinking I really want a Range Rover Classic. Let us know in a comment down below if you would own one and would it be a two-door or a four-door. Yeah, tried to take one of our famous shortcuts and yeah, uh, yeah. another dead end. Okay, okay, so been out, looked at the Series 2A, looked at the Series 3, and also been driving this Range Rover Classic, and uh, yeah, I feel like I always return to a Classic. Once a Range Rover, always a Range Rover. Uh, and uh, it's something about the the Range Rover that I just uh, really love and uh, I think it was a uh, Land Rover photo album the green one I don't remember his name oh don't no. <laughs> uh, which I, I find I always keep forgetting it's a bit awkward uh, yeah uh, but he said the series and the Defender is based on the Jeep yeah the Range Rover is uh, it's, it's Land Rover through and through and even now if you look at the Discovery tree you can see the lines from the Range Rover is in the Discovery tree so yeah it has pizza too <laughs> <laughs> and pizza so a uh, 1985 uh, Range Rover Classic would be perfect I think two door it's the same model as me and uh, that's what I want for my 40th. In two years I'm going to be 40, so that's what I want for my 40th birthday. Two door, 1985, 3.5. We need um, 
So yeah, we need to gather some money. We need to gather some number. <laughs> <laughs> so if anyone knows of a 9085, let me know. Let me know. Now pizza. Hope you liked this video, and uh, as always, I'll see you next one. And hopefully, Eric will be there. Well, hopefully, have done pizza.